Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this tip I want to talk to you about interior kits, seat upholstery, door panels, carpet and headliner and uh, talk to you about the three companies that I basically use to uh, restore my cars and I'll go into detail with you um, about which what quality is what and uh, you know give you different price ranges and such so alright uh, I'm gonna get behind the camera now and I'm gonna get closer on these uh, on these items okay so here we have a 1964 bug that we just wrapped up and uh, I went with more of the budget conscious uh, interior on this which is your basic TMI material uh, TMI has you know it's just uh, it's a vinyl seat upholstery. Uh, this is the off-white vinyl, which is commonly in stock when it comes to ordering from uh, shops like J Bugs or Sip One. Or um, a lot of times when you order, sh you know, from these shops, it's going to take a good three weeks to a month to get a certain color in, depending on what you want. Uh, but this is the off-white basket weave upholstery, and this is commonly in stock, so you can't go wrong with getting this right away. Uh, and of course, black is always in stock. Um, it's a good material, like I said. I mean, this is this was pretty common material that they used, and you know, starting from like the mid '60s and on. Um, so you can't go wrong with TMI. Um, even for period correctness, TMI is pretty close to what they offered back then, especially when it comes to the '60s. When you get into the '50s, uh, that's a little bit of a different story. But um, what I noticed with TMI material is that uh, you you should let it sit out in the sun for a while to soften up because uh, you do have to put a considerable amount of padding in TMI's upholstery from what I've noticed to get the wrinkles out. Uh, we've got this nice and stretched pretty good here um, and we put some good padding in here. A lot of This had the original horsehair on the original seat frames which are really good and intact so I actually kept that I left the horsehair on and then I put uh, I got a, a roll of one inch foam to wrap around over the the horsehair and uh, that kept uh, the seat nice and posh and got rid of the wrinkles. If I was to put the TMI seat upholstery over the horse hair, it would be pretty baggy and loose and you would see some wrinkles on the sides and, uh, and even on the back. But you can see here we got it nice and straight. So when it comes to TMI stuff, it's, uh, it's good quality material for a budget conscious uh, uh, restore. Uh, we also got the TMI uh, door panels here. These types of door panels are definitely a special order, so they can do it for you, but um, you know it's definitely going to be a special order, and you might have to wait a good month to, to, to get the stuff in. But if you wanted to go with the off-white upholstery to match uh, you know, the seats here, it would probably ship the, you know, within a week's time, and you should get it. Okay, we also have the TMI carpet kit here, but I opted to get the premium carpet kit uh, just because it gives you the cutouts for the, you know, the, the heat. Uh, and the shifter rod and, uh, and then the e-brake, they give you those cutouts already for the carpet. Um, it's a little bit extra money, but it's, it's not too much. Uh, so it's just sometimes for less headache, you know, get the cutouts done already. Um, let me pick up the mat here I got. You can see it's a, it's a pretty good carpet. This is good stuff for, you know, if you, you just have a driver um, or if you have like a later bug that, uh, you know, not necessarily so anal about when it comes to being uh, correct. Um, the TMI kit is good. One area where I do not skimp on is my are my headliners. If you can see closely here, this headliner material is like a woven material and it's called tweed and it's a bone color and I get this from Sofine in Texas. Um, I know in these years from 63 and later vinyl headliners were um, were used. I particularly just do not like to use vinyl uh, I know it's cheaper, but you have to heat it considerably. A lot of times the headliner comes stuffed in the boxes when you get them and the wrinkles are there and it's very tough to get the wrinkles out. Um, and I just think this tweed material just looks a lot nicer than the vinyl. Um, looks pretty vintage to me and it's great, great to work with. Uh, it's great, it has a little bit of stretch to it and Sofine gives you plenty of material to work with. So. If you're one of those guys that maybe cuts a little too much and makes some mistakes, then uh, you know this this kit is great. It's of course a little more money. Um, so fine, we'll even make for you the assist straps woven in the tweed as well. Sorry if you can't see that. Um, I just think it's great material to use, and uh, you know even if you're going to go for a budget interior, I would opt for a, a better quality headliner than the vinyl. I'm just not a fan of that that vinyl anymore. 
Okay, so for your basic TMI kit, if you're going to go with, you know, uh, the single color door panels, you know, off-white, black seats, or any of the colors that TMI offers, if you get the basket weave, that's the cheapest. Um, if you go for the smooth vinyl, it's going to be a little bit more money for smooth vinyl. You get the basic carpet kit, and you get, say, a vinyl headliner. Uh, I think you're looking at in the range between four to six hundred dollars, maybe seven hundred dollars, something like that, uh, for the whole interior kit from door panel seats, carpet, and headliner, uh, which isn't a bad deal, uh, especially if you have a car, later car, you know, uh, late '60s car, '70s car. It works perfect for that. Okay, so now we're moving up in the world, and uh, basically what I'll do is I'll start off with this one. This is so fine. And again, you can see I'm a fan of the tweed, and uh, so fine will also use the tweed material to make your seats. And they have all different colors of tweed as well, um, just like in TMI. I mean, if you call these companies up and ask for swatches, they will send you swatches. They also could be viewed online, but I'm noticing online when you look at the colors, depending on your computer monitor, you can see different shades and whatnot. And uh, it's better off getting the actual swatch itself in the mail. If, and if you call these companies up and you, you know, request certain colors, they will mail them to you. But this is so fine material. And I love working with SoFine. Um, it, I think their material is fantastic. And unlike TMI, you do not have to pad the seats as much. Uh, their stuff is a little tighter. The material is a better quality material, I've noticed. Um, and it, it stretches over the seats a lot better. I mean, as you can see, I really don't have any wrinkles here at all on this seat. Um, and this is basically what just some horse hair that was original to the seat frame that was in excellent condition so I kept that and what I opted to go for, I didn't have to, but what I opted to go for was a little bit extra um, jute material to put over the seats uh, on top of the horse hair to give it a little bit tighter fit and that jute material is like what I mentioned in my other videos kind of like the uh, I use in the carpet padding you can use this as well and I got this from Lowe's, this roll and I wrapped this around the horsehair in addition to give it that extra uh, tight uh, fit. So this is Tia Sofine and Sofine has a wide variety of colors that you can choose from. Um, I know off the bat they, they, they seem like they're very custom shop, they are, um, but if you get the, you know, if you match their colors up uh, correctly you could almost look period correct with their material. They do the period correct stitching. That was the other thing I didn't point out with the TMI. Mostly TMI stuff is heat seam. They don't really stitch in here like you see. Um, these are early seats. This is like the H pattern seat upholstery style uh, that was used 55 and earlier. And uh, you can see they have a hidden stitch. So, uh, TMI will be heat seamed. You won't even see a stitch. It'll just be you know kind of fused together. So this is really nice stuff and uh, you will pay a little extra. You'll probably pay uh, I'd say for seats and door panels you'll probably pay about $800 or so, maybe even more, uh, just for seats and door panels, then you still gotta get carpet and headliner, and they also sell that as well, and their quality is excellent. Um, like I said, you can get very close to period correctness if you match up their colors correctly to make your seats. I'm putting this seat upholstery in my Stratus Silver uh, 55 ragtop bug, and um, you know, just, uh, it, it's gonna look really nice. They had it uh, in those years, they had a European cloth version of their interior, um, and is you know pretty close to this um, so that's why I opted to go with uh, so fine I love working with them and when you call them up everything is made to order so do expect to get your stuff in probably in about three to four weeks uh, they are pretty busy so just kind of plan ahead I usually order my seat upholstery once I sent my cars out for paint my cars will most likely be gone for a month or two so it gives it a good time to call in for the seat upholstery Thank <laughs> you.